All right, let's do this. Boom. Okay. Interesting start. I'll say that. Um, we can go ahead and get ourselves a shovel because that is a no brainer. We got four gold left. What should we buy? I say we buy the wooden buckler here because that's the most expensive item. Or we could have probably gone garlic and stone and then we would have gotten more items next round instead of getting four new items. We would have gotten... No, instead of getting three new items, we would have gotten four new items. I think that would have probably been a better play, honestly. That would have probably been a better play, but uh, we can't go back down. So fuck it. Um, should we win this? I'm not sure. However, that's going to be a lot of poison having two food with the uh, wooden sword. We don't have any form of healing. As soon as that poison racks up, we are dead. If we had a little bit of form of healing, would have probably won there, which we just got our forms of healing. So thank you, game. Let's get the banana. That's a no brainer. We also need the sword for double DPS. So I say the best thing to buy here would probably be the healing orb and we'll also get the lucky clover double lucky clover is never a bad thing i promise we're gonna buy these next round um we also need space because space is very very important we should be able to win this because we out dps him um we also out heal him so this should be a w which it looks like it's going to be boom thank you sir we will be taking that from you. Oh, an early game flute is pretty nice, especially when it's on sale. We also got an early game box of riches, which honestly, I feel like we should probably buy. Um, but we don't really have anything to sell to buy it. So we're just going to roll here. We also got space, which is good. And we also got the war stuff, which is even better. We also got the whetstone, but I'm not really a fan of the hero sword right now. So I'm not going to go for it. But we do need to replace the hero sword with another form of DPS. Hopefully we can get like... A broom or like a spear or something like that it would be really really good so we're going against dude shovel broom a little bit of healing i believe we should win this maybe um or maybe not maybe not i think he actually out dps's us oh it's because of the debuff having that six blind on us really did a number because of the broom has a 35 percent chance to inflict one um and they pretty much had two of those and our accuracy was 65 percent six percent we were probably missing a lot couldn't kill them um but that's fine good play good play let's get the leather bag here we also got a broom of our own which we could replace with the wooden sword but i know we need the bag more than anything right now getting this flute in action would probably be a good play as well but then again we kind of need the broom uh, we got seven gold so we gotta choose what we buy here very carefully i say we probably buy the spikes just so we can turn that into a spike shield that'd be really really smart um and we could maybe just point the flute somewhere for the sake of having a flute and then the rest should probably just be some form of regeneration um we can put that on the shield and i want to say banana but we are definitely not gonna be able to fit that in there we could just do garlic i suppose just a shield i guess by that um next round we'll sell the wooden sword for the broom and the reason i'm doing that is i just like having a broom because you never know which way your build's going to go and a broom would be good to get the uh crit wood staff or wand or whatever um that weapon because that weapon's good so that's pretty much why i like to just have a broom on hand because you never know you might get a mana orb you might get the ring and then boom you have a build ready to go versus not buying it and then you see those items and you're like fuck i wish i would have bought it um but anyways enough rambling we're definitely gonna lose this nope i lied i lied i'll take that w thank you sir Ooh, ooh. all right I, I we're not buying the broom broom we're going straight for spikes build we got ourselves a spike shield we got the thorn whip we got the stone skin potion along with having two stones that's an upgrade definitely going for a spikes build it's no brainer what we should go for right now since we do have the thorn whip we're gonna go ahead and sell the shovel along with the wooden sword since this guy is a one mana cost having this on with any other forms of weapons is bad so yeah um now we just need space because we can't well can i rotate you i can rotate you i should probably do this and do that and nope that didn't work because i don't have three slots for anything yeah so we need space uh fast but before we do that let's actually let's buy this and then we'll upgrade him and then we can also buy the box of riches like so let's put double regeneration on and then we will put that back um, and I guess we'll just lucky clover just like that. We need a lot of space. So that's going to be the death of us. If we don't have space, interesting, this guy got kind of lucky at the beginning. He got himself a hungry blade along with getting a ma uh, a magic staff. He doesn't have any mana usage. So this guy's probably just going to do that four to six damage. And then he also doesn't have any regeneration. So this guy is just going to do that three to seven. 
So, um, yeah, but that is enough to kill us since all we have is thorns and thorns doesn't proc off of anything that does magic damage like this guy. Um, so, yeah, it's a little bad, but we got space now, which is good. Let's buy that. We also got gloves of haste, which are on sale since we're going for a poison build. Um, having vampirism really doesn't matter. Right. So the only thing we're benefiting is that 35 percent faster. Um, or we could also get the Claws of Attack, which is a 0.3 mana cost, so our mana cost would be a 1.3. Um, and that could help with uh, empowerment. I, I don't know. Our main damage is poison. So weapon damage is increased. That doesn't increase damage of our poison. 5% um, faster with the Thorns would help, but that's probably only good for triggering things like the Guberts, which we're not going to be using any Guberts. Um, and then that's pretty much all. So yeah, after that, they're just hitting. And that really doesn't benefit me a lot. So realistically, the only thing we'll probably benefit from is that 25% faster, which I'm not trying to do that. Even though they're on sale, it's kind of nice, but I don't want it. So we're going to roll here and let's get the fanny pack because it's space. Um, we could go for another garlic here. Let's let's see. Let's just see what our what our um, let's see what our our storage is looking like here. We could put the fanny pack here, make our thorns a little bit faster, get a little bit of space at the bottom as well. Um, we also need to figure out some form of uh, food situation here somewhat, somehow. Um, however, it's going to be kind of hard with the way our storage is set up right now. Let's see. Unless we turn it like this, that could be a little bit better. Potentially. But that's going to cost us two slots, it seems. So I think facing it downwards like this would be the best. Um, But I do want to put the food over here because we have those three slots just free. If we do that, that's going to sacrifice two stars, which I think I prefer the food over the stars in this situation. Do something like that. Don't really care about the carrot too much. So I'd rather have the jewel box in there um, and we can roll here interesting don't really have much of anything that i want in this selection um so i'm gonna roll it well we could get the bow and arrow it's only a 0.3 mana cost however that's like critting um and we we're not going for a crit build so that's probably not going to help us too much and well let's get the stamina sack for space honestly now i'm talking about critting the lucky clover doesn't really help us that much either now does it that is very very true um but there's really not much else we can replace it with so let's just keep it in there i suppose we could use it for money though if we ever need to sell something so there's that um do we out dps him i think we do even with him having a spike shield of his own he has two weapons we have one weapon so our spikes should be doing more damage than his spikes along with having the thorn whip increasing the amount of spikes we should be able to take this w for sure we might even trigger our um strong skin potion because of the flute if it triggers twice up oh, never mind we just take that w thank you sir appreciate that i will buy you this is on sale usually when it's on sale i just buy it um ooh, getting that potion belt is kind of nice we just need potions something we don't have and let's turn this situation well yeah that'll work let's turn this situation make it a little bit better so that likes each other um we can even buy this jewel and roll interesting i like this health potion on sale we'll take that do we need the mana orb the mana orb would be good for triggering the book of life unless you get blueberries or unless you get a weapon that has the sapphire other than that it's kind of useless in this build um and we also aren't at the point of getting the book of life yet so i'm not going to equip it and we can even just sell that but yeah, but I do want to have the potion belt because then we can actually trigger our strong skin potions, which helps us out with our build. Um, so this guy just has a hammer. I'd be very surprised if he beats us with just a hammer. How much damage does the hammer do? Seven to nine. So we need seven. Yep, seven spikes. No, each time he hits us, we deal the exact same amount of damage back to him. So that's a thing. Oh, poison. I forgot all about poison. We might lose this. Oh, wow. We won. Hell yeah. Nice little W. Thank you, sir. I will take that. And it's on sale. The game wants us to win. The game wants us to win. Let's go ahead and get the potion belt. Let's go ahead and get the potion. Bada bing, bada boom. Make it to the moon. Um, Let's see. I would buy the Degen Lamp because the Degen Lamp is kind of nice. But I will roll on that also. I'm so glad I rolled on you. Because now I have another strong skate potion. 
Let's go ahead and get that. And let's get the fanny pack. And I'm going to reserve the stamina sack. I could also reserve the corrupted crystal here. That is an option that I have. I will put you right up here. Um, Where do I put you? Let's actually... Do I want to do that? I don't think I want to do that, actually. Um, I could just put you right there. And then just have all of this feed on to you. Like so. We could sell the speed. Um, Let's see here. I kind of want to... Yeah, let's replace these items with actual items that help us out with the 5% chance to resist. Because that's just way smarter. Put that all back. Um... I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's pretty solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can roll here. I do want to corrupt the crystal, though. But that's going to be all of our gold because we get 12. So that's what's that? That's like 12 right there. So, yeah. That's going to be all our gold except two. Is it worth it, though? I don't know. Let's just do it, YOLO. Let's just do it. Why not? Why not? Let's just do it. Interesting. Going against a Bloodthorn with the Fortuna's Grace. He doesn't have any form of critting, though. So I don't think he's going to be critting to activate his Fortuna's Grace. However, he does have the Uger's Leaf, which he gets that regeneration, which helps him deal a little bit more damage because of the Bloodthorn turning that regeneration into Vampirism. Because that's how that works. However, once our potions proc, we get Hella Poison and we kill him. So all is good. Unless we go against someone that has the jewel and they can hit us through our shield, then we're fucked. Or if we go against someone with the spectral blade, then we're fucked, right? Um, but hopefully we just don't. You know what I mean? Let's sell the potion or the, the, the little jewel down there. Let's get the corrupted crystal. We could just buy the leather bag here since we don't really use stamina. And that's a little bit more expensive. And we have a little bit more chances of rolling here. Our healing is amplified by 25. That could be nice, honestly um that could be nice it's on sale let's buy it roll and nothing here i want let's just put the corrupted crystal down somewhere and where do we put this where do we put this we could put this on the thorn whip 20 percent chance to remove a buff or 20 percent chance to attack health directly our main dps is poison not the thorn whip so we could just take that down um and then we could put the healing on just so we can heal after these proc because we are very vulnerable at that point um and hopefully that can help us out a little bit eventually i want to put this on an actual like armor piece for that 20 percent health amplified so our health potion can do a little bit more healing especially if we get another health potion that's like the whole point of it so this guy actually kind of combats us a little bit because he has ripshaw blade and he's going off of critical as well he removes our thorns which is really really bad but our thorns turns into poison and he doesn't remove poison so as long as we got the poison on we should be good but the thorns would help a lot considering he has a wooden sword along with a dagger however oh big hit oh no he has the oh, he has a chip sapphire we have to heal here we have to heal here so he doesn't actually 20 percent chance we have a 20 percent chance to die right now and it procced and it proc with a critical too did 21 damage to us a little bit horrible but hopefully that just doesn't happen again you know what i mean um let's get a little bit of space here space is always good i love me some space let's get this jewel to actually upgrade that one i think that's a little bit good um roll if we oh that's really really good I, that's exactly what i was hoping to get too um which is kind of crazy let's buy that perfect amount of money and let's do we could do um damn 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 um let's see here I feel like, yeah, let's move this potion belt down one. We could replace that and then do that, right? And the reason being is because we only have one. If we had two potions belts, that would be a lot better. But we only have one potion belt, which is a little bit unfortunate. But the reason why I'm doing this is because I would like to have... Um, damn, yeah, we need to actually move that over but i would like to have I'll, I'll just show you i'll show you i'll show you no worries no worries no worries i'll show you right now i want to do that and then that and then i can have two potions being able to trigger this stone skin potion which hopefully helps the, the strong stone skin potion trigger twice because this is going to trigger twice and once this triggers it also applies the effect of the potion above it so as long as we're triggering this twice this one should also trigger twice and then also the 30 percent chance being hit two times as well which is good so i want to have the um I want to have the Pescalus Flask be on the this potion here and then do a little bit like that. I want the Pescalus Flask to be on the uh, 
on the potion belt pretty much that's all i'm trying to say pestle is fast on the potion belt and the reason why i wanted the poison is because the poison triggers faster than the health potion the health potion only triggers when we drop below 50 percent which usually isn't at the start of the game which means we can't get the poison on him because of the thorns that we get from the stone skin potion right however with this as soon as they regenerate boom this procs and we can get that poison on a lot faster because this potion will trigger pretty much a lot faster and that's pretty much the reason why i did what i did and now you guys know so let's go ahead and start this and let's see it in action let's see what we go against first okay we're going against another person with thorns um they only have one form of thorn gen or two two forms of thorn generation they got the spike shield along with the pineapple they also have their own strong skin potion so it's pretty much going to go down to who can generate the most amount of thorns as you can see it proc twice we got 13 on us we got 170 block and we didn't lose that much health as well so we got 13 poison on them they have 12 potion poison on us but we got a lot more block than them um and i believe we're going to be able to generate a little bit more thorns than they can because of the thorn whip possibly and we just have the better build so we'll take that w boom we did get another stone we're gonna need two to turn this into another uh, stone skin potion so hopefully we can make that work i'm not gonna combine those two because i like the you know if i had like another jewel like that i would but i i, I don't so i'm not um we already got a carp the crystal we don't really need another one i am going to get the blueberries here that'll help us out when we get the book of life i wish i could possibly combine that a little bit that'd be yeah that'll be fine that'll be fine and now uh, let's just put that back leather bag because space is always a good thing if we could roll do we need a bird probably not right because the bird i mean the big the best thing for the bird i guess would be the triggering of the thorn whip for that attack damage and the uh the gaining of pierce along with flute the food doesn't really matter the food is only there mainly because of poison ivy obviously it helps us with living but we don't really have a problem with living right now um but we could just like do this yeah let's get let's get the bird let's get the bird you never know right let's just get the bird and let's roll here interesting obviously we're going to save the fanny pack we did get ourselves a 25 percent damage dealt which can be nice combined with the regular ruby even though i just said i like the flawless am uh am amethyst here for that 30 30 percent chance to remove a random buff from your, from your opponent um but the healing could be good too because this increases with the amount of thorns we have which can help us survive a little bit better just in case we go get someone with the spectral blade or somebody with the chip sapphire or just the sapphire in general right so i think that's probably the play here ripshaw blade dude that sucks um because we need our thorns for your claws of attack and holy sword my friend along with our thorn whip doing a little bit more damage hopefully that kind of just doesn't matter though let's see how this goes we are i believe we're winning so far does he have any form of oh he also has the poison ivy um which um the the debuff or the 15 percent chance of resist debuff so we're not gonna be able to put as much poison on him which is a little bit unfortunate but it seems like it kind of just doesn't matter and we're kind of just winning he does have a form of mana generation and he has the book of light so we do have to watch out for that i don't think we're gonna be able to kill him before he gets that 10 mana are we uh yes we are awesome awesome i don't think it would matter i think we won anyways but you know a little bit better way of winning i guess i don't know um let's oh i should have combined these actually that would have been smart because now i can buy the flawless ruby what is that eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen we buy all three of these as a no-brainer we could sell this guy so we can get some form of re-rolling going on oh we got a pineapple i like the pineapple let's get the pineapple we're definitely getting the pineapple i'm getting the pineapple and we are going to put that down there so that I can actually combine put that on there so we can get a little bit more healing and where do we put the fanny pack that's a great question a question i don't know what answer to realistically i would like to put it on the bird i mean sorry on the thorn whip um but we kind of just can't do that unless we get two fanny packs so let's put it over here and we can just put the corrupted crystal on it for 10 percent faster for practically no reason you know what i mean um and do do we sell this the, we, we can sell the next round we don't really need it right now to be honest now let's see interesting looks like we're going against bloodthorn build for a little bit of thorn generation uh he doesn't have any mana gen oh he does he has or regeneration, regeneration 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 he has healing her two of them so that's a thing well we got 30 poison on him 129 block 
he does have a lot of spikes this thing is doing 22 to 26 damage along with having the regular topaz 20 percent faster and um he's probably just gonna die <laughs> pretty pretty dang good bloodthorn though but i think our build is just a little bit better my friend sorry about that i'll take that w thank you boom um so we do have an option we've got a few options here and we got 14 gold perfect we could sell our health potion here and get ourselves a pascalus flask just so we can uh, trigger it twice without having to drop below that 50 percent health threshold or what we can do is rotate this guy somehow and just fit the pescalus flask in there which is another option right um which honestly i'm not sure which option we go for because we're gonna have to back this bird up by one um let's see if we can actually make that happen somehow do that um it's back 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 all right cool so let's move that over um we can put that there move this back it still touches the flute and everything which is important so we'll do that and then we could turn this sideways and move every oh we can't well we can do that actually um but this still needs to be able to be triggered twice and we can do that oh that's well yeah we could do that that would work so this will trigger this will trigger and then everything above it will trigger you know what i mean um so yeah i believe that's how that's going to work I believe that's how that's going to work um we'll just have to wait and see and we can buy the pineapple just don't know where i'm gonna put it though um we could do a little bit of situation like that and turn it like so and then replace this guy with a blueberry so it has two forms of triggering right there or 20 percent uh, faster and then you know 10 percent faster because of the fanny pack um let's see here i would like to possibly move this over by one yeah that would help a lot moving that over by one but we don't have any slots to spare i mean i guess we technically have slots to oops did not mean to do that i guess we technically have slots to spare and do this instead and then that way we're able to put a little bit more food in here or even move this down by one and then do that now we got a little bit more poison ivy this one also has three instead of two and it's also still in the fanny pack which is good um and then this one is a four or a five instead of a four which is also really really good so yeah all Oh, that's good. That was good. Um, now we can just put these in random spots that we don't really care about. Combine that for no reason. Oh, we should turn this into a... Yeah, let's turn that into a strong. Because then we'll get more regeneration, which can help us with survivability. Um, since it'll trigger, what, one time, two times, I believe. And honestly, combining this might not even matter. We could sell this for two instead of selling it for one once it's combined. We could sell it now. I don't really care about having it in my, uh, in my inventory. Um can honestly roll here too that was actually a good play Ooh, interesting here um interesting i do want to keep this here but having that 45 percent chance to remove a random buff when this triggers is actually really good i believe but they will be losing out on that 45 percent life still but healing will be amplified though if we put this inside of an armor slot we need to find ourselves an armor slot asap i do want to reserve that though because i want to buy it and we could go ahead and start this round. Let's watch and see how these potions work. I don't know what this guy's doing. He's got me beat. I've got no idea. I guess main form of DPS will probably be the magic style because that's a lot of potions. 11 regeneration is nutty. Insane. Woo, he's doing a lot of DPS to us as well. But we might be able to come out on top here. We did get a lot of blind, six blind, but our blind really doesn't matter since our main form of DPS is poison. We might lose this because he's doing a lot of damage to us right now. Come on, health potion, trigger. Boom, there we go. A little bit more thorns, a little bit more defense for us. Doing 36, and he should be dying right about... Come on now. There we go. That was really close, though, considering the uh, the other battles we faced in the past. That was actually really, really close. That makes me not even want to spend money on this and try to get a little bit more... A little bit better. Um, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Let's buy that and that. We're not going to spend money on that. Hopefully, we can see it later. We did get another health potion, though, which is nice. A little bit more survivability um and a little bit more triggerage for the strong skin potion up here which is good and if we could just roll for a stone oh we did get a potion belt though that is massive 
that is absolutely massive and we got a book of light along with a blueberry let's buy the blueberry we'll get the book of light next round that'll help with survivability and this small little potion but here is going to be massive because that helps with dps so let's turn that and we'll turn that like so we dig in another regeneration so we could turn that into a little regeneration situation that rhymed wow a little regeneration situation i like that i like it picasso um and let's put that there that still is on everything i wanted to be on which is good um where are we gonna put this food this can really just go anywhere realistically unless we want to try to make the pineapple as fast as possible because this is essentially four foods on it already we don't really have well well hmm hmm let's put this there right and or we could put it on a thorn whip instead yeah let's let's put the huh um we can hmm hmm thinking things in my head and i'm not sure if they're gonna work yeah it's let's just try it let's try it let's oh i did not know that was a ranger's pack uh, hopefully we'll be fine. I'm gonna just, just hear me out. Hear me out here. Hear me out. Hear me out. I know what I'm doing is looking crazy. Very crazy, in fact. But uh, hear me out. Hear me out. Now that is that is 30% faster, which I think is pretty damn nice. We can actually put that there. We don't really care about crit. That's the thing. So that's why I'm just putting my Rangers pack here. Honestly, I could sell it for money to, you know, that's an option. Um, And let's put you right there. So now it's got one food. It's also inside of a fanny pack, which is good and we can put the banana over here put the oh we don't really have space space like that though unless we move that down and then we can garlic plus double blueberry so now it's four foods that's 50 percent faster we could put that there and then banana there that works that works and then we could just rotate that move that up so it can all match and then we could put another blueberry there if we really really want it to um What's the food looking like? Decent. That's looking decent. And we could just put this in a random spot. We could sell this. I mean, how much does it sell for? Eight? If we're short on money, I say we sell it. We don't really need it like that, so we might as well. What do we go against? Looks like a poison build. He's got a poison goober, regular goober. He's got a broom and a shovel. I don't know what build this is. It just looks like a bunch of random items put together. So that we should win this, theoretically. I just want to see how much poison we can actually put on dude here. That's going to be the interesting part um did our things oh just realized something this is a 30 percent chance the potion belt makes it a 30 percent chance to proc the potion above it so if it, it if the 30 percent chance doesn't work then the potion above it isn't gonna proc and if it does proc then you gotta wait for another 30 percent chance so theoretically speaking it might be better just to put the strong skin potion down here maybe potentially because it still didn't proc i don't think it proc at least it should proc now because we're about to go below that. Yeah, there we go. So now it procced. We got all that poison. Interesting. Let's actually see that log. I don't really see a... Yeah, let's see that log, actually. Let's see if it actually uh, procced the thorn or the, the thorns. It doesn't seem like it. Yeah, that spike shit. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. It doesn't seem like it. Or maybe it did. Huh, I don't know where it procced. I know it procced, I just don't know where. I'm really not sure. It didn't seem like it did though, which is a little bit concerning because, yeah, at the beginning of the game, we got that much poison. Usually when you have a, you know, you get a little bit more, but I'm not really sure. Hmm. That's a little bit interesting. Slightly interesting. Um, makes me want to just move this around a little bit. A little concerning, um, honestly. But I, we might be fine. I kind of just want to move this down there, but I feel like doing this is the best way. Unless we move them like so. That could be a little bit better. Let's try this and see how much um, see how much storms we get. But we got the Book of Light now. Double mana generation should give us um, enough to get there, which is good. We can actually just let's sell that just for money so we can roll here. 
has a potential to okay so we got another stone skin potion i wish that would have probably been a a rock this is what we really need we also got a pineapple which can help us with dps so let's reserve that to buy that and then we'll buy the stone skin potion so we can actually use it and we'll put it uh i'm gonna put it up there I, because it's not on a potion belt i kind of just you know i'd rather it just be in the potion belt more than anything um so yeah that's why i'm not putting it there because i'd rather put it inside the potion belt honestly or maybe it doesn't matter because this means 60 percent chance to trigger this 60 percent chance to trigger that versus 60 percent chance to trigger this 60 percent chance to trigger that i don't know Maybe it's fine putting it all the way up there. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, what is this? Just a Pandanomium Poison uh, Excalibur build, it seems like. Mount of Generation, kind of ish, maybe. Looks like a Thorns build, honestly. So there we got 35 poison. Everything triggered there as well. So I think switching the Pesculus fast to be here instead of down here um, did that trick for us. That's what I believe. So I'm going to keep the way that it is. And then if we ever go below that 50%, these will trigger and hopefully everything else will just you know follow and trigger as well um but we got a really good start on this guy so i believe we should be able to beat him his potions just trigger so he does have that regeneration going for him um and it also uh cleansed a lot of the poison that we put on him before however there goes our invulnerability we should be able to put even more thorns on him to put the um even more poison on him as well so we should be able to win this boom nice little w thank you sir now let's get our pineapple i don't know where to put it though it might be a little bit of a problem but i do know i need to put it somewhere so let's buy it um we can also buy the fanny pack let's get the protective purse roll got another pass i don't really think we need another pescalus flask honestly i do not think we do um yeah, i don't think we need it to be honest let's pass on that give me a rock and i'll be happy okay we got another potion belt which can help these go from 30 percent to 60 percent once we change that around so let's reserve that we'll buy that next round i believe for the pineapple we should probably just put it there um and then we can switch out a blueberry or a few blueberries put a blueberry there put a blueberry up there um and then we can just put random foods in this area which looks like uh maybe a banana and a garlic works for the most part i think that's good um and then i guess we could just probably just boom and boom or boom and boom that works interesting i mm, putting the bird inside of the pineapples might also be a play if we could switch it like that or if we get a second bird we could do that just to make those pineapples trigger a little bit faster because that'll help with you know dps right oh we got another stone we got another pineapple oh my gosh this game loves giving us pineapples that's three pineapples three we also got the cap of resilience which we need do we need another stone thing we have three of them we need stones we don't need stone skin potions we need stones stones is gonna help us i feel like we have enough pineapples and i kind of just want to put a bird there we're not gonna have enough space for that third pineapple so that's why i didn't pick it up what are we going against looks like a i would say a crit build but this is a regular bow and arrow he's also got the degen lamp does he have any form of regeneration or a uh, defense it doesn't seem like it i say we probably beat this guy yeah i say we more than likely positively more than likely probably will destroy this guy looks like it too not really sure what he's going for here at all just got a bunch of food a little bit of regeneration here for his blood thorn doing two to twenty or seven to twenty three god damn we just took a lot of damage that triggered what how in the world did this trigger unless it's that's that plus one damage he has no for oh yeah he has no form of of defense he has no form of defense generation i don't know how this triggered no, it's doing less than 27 damage, so it never triggers. So it only got its damage boost from this guy. And I guess it just crit. And that's why we see we saw that 46 damage two times. That kind of startled me, if I'm being honest. But anyways, let's buy that. Just gotta figure out a way to actually fit it, which definitely is just going to be in this area. More than likely. Let's put all of this back. Um and I guess we can. Um <laughs> I don't know. We can switch this around. Put that back. Um, and then we can just double down on that like so. And we'll just put that there. 
that works and then cap resilience boom i also want to combine that cat get the cap of discomfort because i feel like that's really good um really really good actually so we'll get that we could get a second book of light but do we have the mana i'll reserve it if we get the mana generation for it next round i'll get it we could also get this that is an option that is definitely 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 an option We'll either get one of those, I believe, would probably be the move. That is a lot of goobers. It looks like he was going to go for the uh, big boy goober build, which he was super close. He got the poison goober, the stove goober, the blood goober, and then he was getting the light goober this round. And probably next round, he'll probably try to combine into the big boy goober, but uh, he might not be able to use it since this is round uh, round two, unfortunately. But good one, though. Um, with that being said, I think we win. He's only got the hammer and the special dagger with the cursed dagger for DPS. I mean, he's also got the poison dagger. That's the thing with the poison goobert and the blood goobert. Um, but I mean, we just destroy him, it seems. Um, so yeah, good game, my friend. Thank you. Oh, we got a bird. Interesting thing to get a birdie. Um, 17 gold. We need 20 to buy both. Actually, we could just buy both. Let's do that. Let's sell you. Sell you. Oh, I didn't even look at the mana generation from last round. Oh, that was only 19. We need one more thing. We could sell the stone since we're not getting stone here. Or we could just sell the customer card since we're not re-rolling anymore. Let's do that. Uh, we'll put the Flawless Ruby on here for that 25% healing amplified for our uh, regeneration potions along with the 20% damage dealt life steal on this guy and then we'll just put this guy right there for that 65 percent chance of removing random buff from your, from your opponent which is good book of life can go there someone can go there just for no reason roll and the rest is history last battle let's see how this one goes interesting oh is that gonna trigger though probably he's got the mana generation he's got double degen he's got that for the resistance um what else does he need he needs the luck which he's getting that from the piercing arrow last thing he would probably need is thorns which he'll probably just get thorns from the degen lamp so that's probably more than likely 100 percent chance going to trigger since we don't have a oh no we have this 35 percent chance for moving ran above which can slow him down a little bit however i don't think it's gonna slow him down enough so that should more than likely probably will just trigger um which might be a problem might be a problem especially since he's doing the 16 to 18 damage already don't know how he's gaining that damage and he's a 100 percent chance to crit or is it uh what 40 40 percent chance to crit um did the trigger already no it didn't trigger i'm not sure how this is increasing damage yeah i don't know how this is increasing damage but oh because of the still goober it's increasing damage because of the still goober wow daryl's 52 to 54 if that curse has 100 damage dealt there goes our regen potions but we have we have hella poison on them so interesting though that was actually a pretty solid build he's got the still goober increasing the damage by two and then he also had the degen lump so it's doing 56 to 58 damage along with that crit chance which he, he wasn't able to get that luck up high enough unfortunately um i would have probably put a shield there instead of a lucky pig um and probably did a different or he could have probably put a, a degen lamp his second degen lamp here instead um for but he was also i guess he wanted to increase the damage of his dagger which he probably yeah that's what he did but yeah um yeah if he had a little bit of luck there for the critting that would have been 100 damage crit right there which would have been insane but um yeah good game that was fun though nice little poison build thorny poison build really really nice really fun game boop boop boom and that got us into diamond